Rudolf Clausius proposed that the principles of thermochemistry, for example the heat evolved in combustion reactions, could be applied to thermodynamics in his mechanical theory of heat in 1865. The American mathematical physicist Willard Gibbs published a series of three papers between 1873 and 1876, the most famous of which was on the equilibrium of heterogeneous substances. He demonstrated graphically and mathematically how the first two laws of thermodynamics can be used to determine both the thermodynamic equilibrium of chemical reactions as well as their tendency to occur using the laws of thermodynamics. As a result of the publication of Gibbs' collection of papers, there is now a unified body of thermodynamic theorems built on the principles developed by other philosophers like Clausius and Sadi Carnot. In the early 20th century, two major publications successfully applied Gibbs' principles to chemical processes, laying the foundation for chemical thermodynamics. Gilbert N. Lewis and Merle Randall's 1923 textbook Thermodynamics and the Free Energy of Chemical Substances replaced chemical affinity in English with the term free energy. The second book was the 1933 book Modern Thermodynamics by the Methods of Willard Gibbs written by E. A. Guggenheim. Because these two books made a major contribution to unifying the application of thermodynamics to chemistry, Lewis, Randall, and Guggenheim are considered the founders of modern chemical thermodynamics. As a result, Lewis, Randall, and Guggenheim are considered as the founders of modern chemical thermodynamics. In chemical thermodynamics, heat and work are interrelated with chemical reactions or physical state changes within the limits of thermodynamic laws. As part of chemical thermodynamics, not only are thermodynamic properties measured in laboratories but mathematical methods are applied to the study of chemical questions and spontaneous processes as well. The structure of chemical thermodynamics is based on the first two laws of thermodynamics and it can be deduced that four equations called the fundamental equations of Gibbs can be derived from the equations of the first and second laws of thermodynamics. Using relatively simple mathematics, a multitude of equations can be derived relating to the thermodynamic properties of thermodynamic systems. In most cases of interest in chemical thermodynamics, there are internal degrees of freedom and processes, such as chemical reactions and phase transitions, that create entropy in the universe through internal degrees of freedom and processes. In order to deliver and receive external work, they must be coupled to constrained devices, such as pistons or electrodes, to provide and receive external work to maintain a running equilibrium through quasi-static changes. Free energy functions and all extensive thermodynamic potentials, including internal energy, depend on the composition, even for homogeneous bulk systems. Compositional changes cannot be described if quantities, the number of chemical species, are omitted from formulae. A chemical reaction releases energy when chemical substances undergo a transformation. When chemical bonds are broken or made, energy is released or taken in, often as heat that is either absorbed or released by the chemical system. This change in energy is known as the change in the internal energy of a chemical system. The energy released, or absorbed, by a reaction between chemical substances, reactants, is equal to the difference in energy content between the reactants and the products. Alternatively, it can be calculated from the internal energy of the formation of the reactant molecules based on the bond energies of the molecules under consideration, as well as the internal energy of the formation of the product molecules. It is understood that if the internal energy change is measured under conditions of constant volume, for example in a closed rigid container like a bomb calorimeter, the change in internal energy equals the change in heat. However, at constant pressure, as in reactions in vessels open to the atmosphere, the measured heat is usually not equal to the internal energy change, as pressure volume work also releases or absorbs energy at the same time. A heat change at constant pressure is called an enthalpy change, in this case, the widely tabulated enthalpies of formation are used as the basis for calculating the heat change. 
there is a related term, which is the heat of combustion, which is the chemical energy released due to a combustion reaction, and which is important for the study of fuels, because food is similar to hydrocarbon and carbohydrate fuels, and when they are oxidized, they release the same amount of energy.